I was on the fourth or seventh level of that hotel from Hebrews chapter 7. I ran down like a madman. I've found a treasure. I've caught a treasure. Even America is called confused about our dimension of prosperity what we are operating in is not found in their shores landmark university is built and then um, about 3.6 billion or thereabout has been spent and the church is just relaxed and nobody is taking an offering on that it's just a blessed place we're already fencing our large estate about 100 kilometers in perimeter. Maybe you didn't hear 100 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> he said, prove me now if I will not open you the windows of heaven. I'm not talking about the windows of America. I'm not talking about windows of global economy. They are all confused. From US to Europe to Russia, they are all confused. If you are not a titan, I pray for you from now to next year, I don't change your case because the scriptures cannot be broken. Not by any prophet. Even if you saw a vision 28 hours instead of 18 hours, it cannot, there is no invocation against scriptures. It's only invocation in line with scriptures that results in manifestations. Your pastor is a titan pastor. Your church is a titan church. Who are you? What are you doing here? Please value divine secrets. It is your guarantee for a life of color and beauty. 1984, the Lord showed me the secret of church growth. And can you see the way the church is growing? Dangerously. And I took it and began running with it. And can you see it's showing? Nothing compares with divine secrets. 1982, the Lord showed me the secret of my personal prosperity. March 22nd, 2010. This boy is one of the most prosperous individuals on earth. You know, when you don't have to pray for something before it happens, then you are prosperous. Not that I just started becoming prosperous. I was prosperous even when you think I was not. <laughs> even when you may think I was not, I was very prosperous because I never begged or grown for anything. And my wife knows that. No one discussion any day since we got married on where shall we go. Or how shall we do this? It's done before you have the opportunity to ask how. I understand this secret to a point that when we had our first son and there was no um, baby food at home and there was none in town to buy and I said to my wife, the Lord just spoke to me that we should make a seed of everything we got in the house and that's the only way to get the food. Ah. Uh -uh. And so we made a seed of everything we got in the house. And following day, somebody came rushing to our home and bringing in 24 cartons of baby food. How many? That was enough for both the adults and the babies in the house. It was adult baby food supply. 24 what? All our seeds come by two. 24 cartons came in response to operating divine secrets. And this was what the person that brought it said, I discovered there are no baby foods in town. And the Lord laid on my heart to bring you all that we had in our store. Glory to God. Kosova bire, 
kusi kusi koso babire la ye yi ati lo koso so we began our series this Sunday very briefly in the footsteps of Abraham in the footsteps of Abraham part 1 Isaiah 51 and verse 1 to 3 hearken unto me all ye that love righteousness ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the Lord look unto the rock we are in Yahweh and to the whole of the pit whence he are digged verse 2 look unto abraham your father and to sarah that be at thee for i called him alone and blessed him and increased him my blessing resulted into his increases <laughs> i blessed him and increased him now why are we to look up to him for verse 3 the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all our waste places. He will make our wilderness like Eden. And her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and glory shall be found in her. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Now, look unto Abraham. That is my example. If you desire access to his order of generational blessings look to abraham that's my covenant example for your access to supernatural dimensions of blessings look to abraham your father to sarah the bad i called him alone and blessed him and increased him for the lord his program to comfort zion to bless Zion after the order of Abraham. To turn our wilderness into Eden and our death into the garden of the Lord. So that joy and gladness shall be heard in her. Thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. In the footsteps of Abraham. The reason is your only access to that blessing is following in the footsteps of Abraham. John chapter 8 and verse 39. If you are Abraham's seed, then you do the works of Abraham. God's redemption plan is universal. And so also is his prosperity plan. God so loved the world, not some section of the world. He gave his only begotten son. And he redeemed us unto our God out of every kindred, every tribe, every tongue. Revelation 5, 9 and 10. So, so he brought us out of every kindred, every tongue, every tribe. So God's redemption plan is universal. And so also it's a prosperity plan. The profit of the earth is for all. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 9. It's not for some section of the world. It's for all. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. Even the king himself is served by the field. The profit of the earth is not for the white. Ah. Neither is he for the blood. The blessing of the Lord is for all. Nothing makes one tribe or race a slave to another but ignorance. 